I lie so much that sometimes I forget they aren't true I have no idea why, but I lie so much, but not huge ones, it's always small things, a few examples, a friend asks if I can give them a few dollars, I lie and tell them I don't have cash, if I get invited somewhere by friends, sometimes I lie and say I already have plans or that I'm going to visit my family. I honestly can't think of any more examples of me lying because it's literally second nature to me, I don't realize when I lie. So yeah, I lie a lot, for no reason. That's my confession lol. I broke my laptop when I was 12 and blame my brother first time posting here. I've felt guilty about this ever since I did it and the only person I've told is my boyfriend who I'm with now. Basically I had got a new laptop for Christmas and was playing a game on it in bed and I chucked it on the floor. Not hard or anything but it broke and the screen had rainbow colors all over it. I opened it the next day and it was broke so instead of owning up I put it back where it was and then my brother who was 8 at the time went to go on it and it was broken. I shouted at him and said he must have broken it and my stepdad his biological dad said he's not allowed to use technology anymore so he wasn't allowed to play with anything or use a screen apart from the TV. I did this because my stepdad was abusive to me and I would have been smacked and shouted at and in really big trouble but my brother just got away with it pretty much even though it was me. I feel so bad and I haven't even seen my brother now for about 5 years because my mum and stepdad split up and I would just give anything for him to be my brother again like he was. I scratched a car while parking and drove away with it. I was parking and accidentally scratched the car next to me. I panicked because it's the first time I've ever made a mistake like this and just drove away. On my way to find another parking I kept thinking what I could have done and I hate myself so much right now for being so irresponsible. I'm just waiting for karma to hit me now. I'm so so sorry to the car owner. It wasn't a huge dent but it's a visible scratch indeed. I did scratch my car too but I don't think that's an excuse for me to ignore my mistake. I got a kid in trouble because my friend was being annoying in third grade my friend was really clingy and I wanted to do something he will join into so one day I couldn't take it anymore so I got this one kid who was always getting in trouble to go and make jokes with him next thing you know he made a yo mama joke your mama so fat she can't fit down a slide. My friend just started crying I don't know why his mom worked at the school and she was fine but somehow that joke broke my friend and he just started losing it we went back to class and I was wrecked the whole day I was thinking I was going to get in trouble at one point I looked out of the classroom window and I saw him taking to the principal I think the only reason I was never called out was because of my good reputation. If you're still wondering I still see my friend from time to time but we're not as close as we once were most likely because we went to different middle schools for 3 years. For the kid that got in trouble I saw him my second year of high school and he has gotten better and joined the ROTC program and is doing better than ever he's getting good grades and not getting in trouble. The summer before 5th grade, my best friend and I prank called a boy from our class every day. His parents had no way of stopping us and were beyond annoyed. We used to walk to the neighborhood across the street to access their community pool. They had a free payphone think late 90s when tiny beepers were all the rage. We used the payphone to call a 5th grade boy that my friend had a crush on. When his parents would answer the phone, we would yell happy horse mating day in a stupid country accent and then hang up. I have no idea why we did this, but we did it a lot multiple times per day for an entire summer. I feel bad for his parents now. D-bag move on my part. I was the dialer and my BFF was the speaker, but still. I stole my neighbor's entire snail farm when I was 16. It's actually a neighbor's friend snail farm. When I was 16, I found out that one of my neighbor's friends has a small snail farm at the back of their house. And I really love snails eating them. After I went to their house the first day, I went back there with two of my cousins and we stole every single snail there. We went back home and prepped them and ate. We've never spoken about it but I still think about it 8 years later. I pushed the pastor's giant pumpkin down the hill when I was 18 every year he got a massive giant pumpkin for Halloween. I was 18 Lily moved out and participating in Halloween for the first time ever. I was angry at him for always being so terrible to my family, we were almost the only family who didn't go to his church. So I had my friend drive to his house, and my brother and I pushed it down the road, which was a hill. 
It crashed into the neighbor's fence about one fourth mile down the hill. The noise must have been horrendous and scary and I feel really bad for those people. We drove away and no one ever even asked me about it. When I was in 6th grade, I let someone copy off my homework then lied about when I got caught. This may seem like a small confession, but it's something I've always felt guilty about. In 6th grade when I was doing my work this kid asked me if I could help him with his math homework that was due that day next class. I have never been able to say no to people, and this case wasn't any different, but we weren't allowed to talk so I just decided to let him copy my homework instead. The substitute found out and told me to put my homework away so no one would copy it and she also let the math teacher know. The math teacher pulled me out of class and asked if I had let him copy it, and I said, well I had it in the front of my binder and sometimes the papers slip out so that's probably what happened, and I got away with it. Then towards the end of the year when we were playing a game called Mumball there was a dispute about who should be out. So, he said to me did you see him touch the ball, and I did and so he would be out because he didn't catch it so I said yes and he said then he's out my name, doesn't lie. It was wrong of me to let someone copy my homework and even more wrong to lie about it. I threw a hug of applesauce at my brother and it made a huge mess. So this equally just happened. I went into the kitchen to ask my little sister if she was fine eating lunch and she said yeah but I was going to get some applesauce. So as she asked me to open it and as I tried my brother was being really annoying and I had the jug in my hand and was about to throw it at him but then I'm like no it'll make a mess then he continued to be annoying and so I did throw it at him. It got all over the floor and the bench and the table and on the windows and wall. It got so high up too. We quickly scrambled to clean it all up. Luckily my dad was at work and my older sister was in her room. Of any one day something about the kitchen smelling like applesauce, we have to act like we know nothing. It was kinda funny to be honest, but I shouldn't have thrown the applesauce in the first place. I burned down a cabin and blamed it on a homeless man when I was 9 years old I moved to Australia with my family. Once we moved there my mother wanted to travel around Australia just to see what it's like before we settled down, so what we did was we rented an RV and starting driving down the east coast of Australia from Brisbane all the way to Canberra the capital, once we got to the capital we decided to turn around and go back to Brisbane where our house was, so that evening when we were in Canberra we rented a small cabin because the RV was broken or something I forgot the reason we rented a cabin but we all went into the cabin that night and had a normal evening just chilling playing games on the board games we brought it easy and we eventually went to bed the next morning i woke up really late compared to everyone else so once i had woken up everyone was already packed and ready to start going back to brisbane so i rushed to get everything packed in like 15 minutes and once i had put all my stuff in the rv i told my mom i needed to use the bathroom so i went back into the cabin and for some reason i had brought matches into the cabin with me so once i was in the bathroom i lit a match and lit the toilet paper on fire and since the cabin was all wood it was flammable once I had lit the toilet paper I ran outside and got into the RV and we drove off about 90 minutes down the road my mom got a call from the cabin place and they told us that our cabin had burnt down 9 year old me was panicking a lot so we ended up going 90 minutes back to the cabin place so we could talk to the lady and since I was the last out of the cabin everyone was looking at me I went up to the lady who had called my mom and told her I saw a homeless guy lighted on fire I proceeded to point in the direction of the street that a guy was walking down and said that it was him even though I knew for a fact I did it so after the lady called the cops on the guy we went back into the RV and drove back to Australia. I still don't know what happened to that guy and I hope he is okay and never got any jail time I don't know what made me want to burn the cabin down but I've not touched a match since and I'm 15 right now so this was 6 years ago. I think I deserve two apologies to that guy and pay the price that it would cost to build a new cabin but I have no idea what happened to him or where he is nor what cabin I stayed at. Photoshop my grades to avoid punishment by mommy's middle school I'm not too positive on what year of school this was but around when I first started hanging out with my friend group my grades dropped. My mom is a teacher and doesn't like anything below G, and the majority of my grades this year were sitting in around the CD range. I've always been pretty creative and good with technology, so I began photoshopping my grades and showing my mom screenshots on my phone of my grades. These photos were highly edited. 
I'd taken 100% that I had in gym and just duplicated and put it on top of the class I wanted and 100 in. I need to find these screenshots one day, to see how bad the photoshop job was or maybe young me did an impressive job because I was terrified of my mother finding out I did bad. I'm a senior in high school and she still has no idea. I kicked in special needs classmate so hard he started bleeding back when I was in elementary school I was in a class for special needs since I got autism spectrum so one day I was playing Lego and built something I was proud of and I left it on the floor and had to do something when I came back I found my classmate destroying my build out of anger I waited for a good moment to kick him in the heel kid started bleeding and wasn't able to respond back or talk in sentence teacher thought he hurt himself and brought him to the school nurse Almost every day I think about it and how fucking sorry I am.